Hello, 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 hello. It is midday with Tara. It's Wednesday, April the 3rd. Wow. April the 3rd. We're in the fourth, fourth month of 2019. You know, a lot of you guys have made these new resolutions or new statements new things that you plan on changing for your life improvement but it's the fourth you know it's the fourth month and a lot of times around this time people start slacking off people start slacking off and i want to just share let me take this off you know why you can't stay focused yeah because you know how you start off really good, you focus, you have all this tenacity, you have all this zeal for your accomplishing your goals, for transforming your life, and it starts off really good. You know, you're running, you got good endurance, you got, you're motivated, and then things start just kind of dwindling off little by little. And then you you get to a point where you can't seem to stay focused. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You get to a point where it's like, I want to keep going, but I've lost some of my drive. I've lost some of my motivation. And I can't stay, I can't seem to stay focused on what I need to do. I don't know where I am. You know, I'm just kind of at a, a fork in the road, basically. So I want to talk about that, why you can't stay focused. Because guess what? It's part of walking out, making change, making a new path for your future and destiny. It, it's not going to feel good. It's not going to feel good. You're going to have some, some hiccups. And you're going to have those times when your motivation level goes down and you can't seem to stay focused. It's your girl, Tara, and it's Midday with Tara. Let's talk. So I took a few notes about staying focused. And if any of you guys follow me, um, I shared a post on Sunday about staying focused. Stay focused because distractions destroy destiny. Distractions destroy destiny. Plain and simple. So you have to learn how to stay focused. And let me tell you something about being focused. I usually wear glasses. And you know, when you wear your glasses so much, if you anybody know anything about wearing glasses, <laughs> sometimes you wear your glasses and, it and you have film, oil, you may have some spots on those glasses, and you've been looking through the lenses of those glasses so long that your eyes have adjusted to the film to the oil the fingerprints that have been placed on your lenses and you become accustomed to watching to viewing your life and people and things through those glasses that have become distorted so uh, and then you you look and you're like well I see but it's a little off some I'm looking, but I can't see it clearly. And that's what happens when, we, when we're trying to do something different. We allow people, things, places, ourselves, our mindset to put films, a film, oil, dirt, fingerprints, life happens over what we're seeing. And it causes us to become out of focus. So... Why can't you stay focused? Because you allow, you have allowed some things to kind of stay there, creep back in, or you just didn't push them out at all. You just kind of put them on the back burner because we're good at, you know, we just, we don't want to get rid of it. You, you ladies, you know what I'm talking about? We had those dresses that we know we cannot fit again. <laughs> you know you can't get in them clothes. And you put them to the back. Well, maybe one day, 
maybe one day and by the time you if you ever get into it, it's dry rotted because it's been there so long you put it on and you bust the seam you wear it one day and you burst the seam so because you you should have just got rid of it got rid of it got rid of some things so let me just talk a few minutes because i'm not gonna be long we talk this month of april i'm gonna be helping you um stay on track to stay focused Focus for your future. Focus for the finish. I'm going to help you stay focused. I'm going to give you some tips because if you don't stay focused, you're going to fall completely off. And in December and January, you're going to be back in that same conundrum, that same cycle to, oh, I'm going to try. I'm going to do it this time. You told yourself that every year and then you end up, end up falling off, not finishing, mad with yourself, mad with god changing your thinking or oh, maybe this not for me no you're gonna have to push through it's a fight anything worth having y'all know the saying anything worth having is worth fighting for and for you to get change in your life whether it's your health your finances your family your future your relationships yourself you're gonna have to fight for it you gonna have to fight for it why can't you stay focused you can't stay focused because you might need to detox. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just need to detox. Because guess what? You know, I'm talking about those glasses. When you clean your glasses off, wow, you see so much clearer. You're like, dog, it, my house is lighter. The, it's lighter outside. You start refocusing and things look different. They look clearer because you have detox, clean off some of that film and filth that was blocking the true sight of your future, of your walk, of your purpose. So first, let's talk about detox. You need to detox some people. And I just wrote a few notes because, like I said, I'm not going to be on long because I got a lot going on. Uh, detox some of those people. When you detox, you get rid of it. You don't put them on the shelf. You don't say, well, I'm going to call you later. No, just get rid of them. Get rid of some of those toxic people that's in your life. And it may be even some family members. Get rid of those people. They are When you have toxic people in your life, they cause you to become toxic. You may have to be detoxed from social media. Woo, some of y'all really. Y'all need to just get off of social media. It has become your life. You post all your feelings on social media. We know when you're going to the bathroom. We know when you're going to, we know everything. You put all your life pictures on there everywhere you go for somebody to come rob you, beat you down. Come on, people. Detox from social media. This is social media. It's a airway entity to help you connect. Go connect with some real people. Stay off of Facebook. Some of those TV shows, some of y'all, and I used to be, you know, one of those persons that will have to be looking at nighttime soap opera, operas, uh, Empire, and all those other great things. I used to be one of those people. I just cut it off. I detox from it. Because the more you watch things, you create a new belief system in your mind, whether you realize it or not. So some things you go, some television shows, music, y'all gonna have to cut this stuff off. You have to cut it off because if you don't detox from it, you will never create a new belief system. You will never create a new way of doing things that's going to help you propel and walk to your your um your future your change your destiny you gotta detox detox you have to detox from it some of you guys have to de even with detoxing from other people you have to detox physically yeah you gotta clean out your own body so your mind <laughs> listen to me you gotta detox your physical body so that your mind, your brain can function so that you can stay focused. 
Some of that stuff is not, if you just detox your body, those people, places, things, you, your, it's like cleaning those glasses off. You, you're able to see better. You're able to think better. You're able to comprehend better. Your cognicity is, is better. So some of those people and things that you were doing, you have no, you won't, you'll no longer do because you physically detox. You physically got some of that junk that's killing you in your physical body out so that you can walk out your journey. So that you can make the necessary changes in your life. So that you can fulfill your future. The one that you want. Not the one that you have created. Or the one that you told yourself you're going to be stuck with. But the real future. The one that you want. You have to... Um, I want to talk about... When we talk about detoxes. A lot of times you have detoxes that like 21 days. You know, the saying is, if you do something for 21 days consistently, you create a new pattern in doing things. I think that's true in a sense. But because 21 days is not long enough for you to create a new neurological path in your mind. Because <laughs> that's what happens. It's, it's, you know, you make a new neuro neurological pathway in your brain. It's not there. In the group, the pathway is not long enough and not deep enough for you to continue on it. Because what happens is when life happens, because let me step back a minute. We are creatures of pattern. So let's just use, we're going to get up every day for the next 21 days. We're going to eat right. We're going to read such and such. We're going to listen to motivation. We're going to do something that's going to help us propel to our next purpose, our success, our business, whatever it is. We're going to do something every day consistently. We do that for 21 days and we're like, yeah, I did. But guess what? Because you struggle in those 21 days, your mind says, these 21 days over. I can go and have a little piece of cake. Let me just drink one beer. Let me just give him a call and see how he's doing. Let me just do this. Do what I used to do. Because I think, because see, you trick your mind, tricks you like, oh, I did it this long. I'm good. I can handle throwing a little bit of stuff back in. No, you can't. You can't. I'm telling you. Because what happens? How many times you've done something for 21 days? You did good, and by the 25th day, you start finding yourself slip slipping. Going back into those same habits, and then you back then you're like, no, I did it. What happened? How did I get back to where I am? How did I get back to square one with some baggage? Because <laughs> you bring baggage with you. Because it takes more than just 21 days to detox from anything. It's a good start. Let me tell you, it's a great start to detox. But then after you detox, whether it's your health, whether it's people, whether it's um, making a new pattern, a new mindset change, whatever it is, that's a good start. Then you got to strategize. Life happens. The what if so that you can stay focused enough so that when things start happening, remember I said we are creatures of habit. When your friends say, come, come on, let's go out. Let's go do this. Oh, they got a sale on at Dillard's. Let's go here. You know, Nina Marcus got a sale on, girl. You better go. You better come. And you start, and, and you trying to save money. I'm just saying. Or you trying to stay away from this toxic relationship because you know that brother or that sister is not good for you. Y'all just kicking it. You know, that's just a good part about it. But you know they're not good for, for you. And then you find yourself, because you got lonely, because during the detox time, you get lonely, you get headaches. You know how you start detoxing? You get bored. Guess what? You start bringing that stuff in little by little, and you find yourself back in the same um, position, the same 
um, you find yourself in the same pattern that you were in before. So you have to learn. If you're going to stay focused, that's detox. That's going to be the first thing we need to do. you got to detox. Detox those things, those people, those places, even that food, even the food that you're eating, you have that's causing you a barrier in your pathway of change. That's causing a barrier. That's causing you to stumble. That's causing you to keep doing the same thing over and over, year after year. Detox. Detox. Detox so you can stay focused. Detox. So that you can stay focused. If you stay focused, you'll finish to the end. If you get off focus, you're going to be in somebody else's lane. You're going to be doing this. You're going to be doing that. And you're going to be wondering what happened. You got your focus off. Clean your glasses off so you can see clearly. Detoxification helps you see things clearly. It doesn't feel good if anybody has ever did a detoxification those first three or four days woo, you feel horrible you think your body is just like this can't be right your head you, most of the time you have a massive headache your body aching you might start breaking out because your body is trying to get all of that junk out it doesn't feel good if you're doing just a a, 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 a detox that's not physical for your body when you have to get real if you're trying to Detox from toxic people, your pain is going to be you're going to have to be alone. You're going to have to be alone. You're going to have to create some new patterns. And a lot of you guys don't want to reevaluate yourself or isolate yourself or be alone so that you can create a new pattern. You're scared of your own self and you want to know why nobody else don't want to be with you. Or why they treat you a certain kind of way. You're not used to being with you. You don't even know what you want. I don't know how I got on that, but you, you know, you don't even know what you want. You don't know what career you want. You don't know what you want in a relationship. You don't know. You don't know anything about you, and you expect everybody else to know. Come on now. Let's just use. I know common sense is not common, but we have a little bit of wisdom in ourselves. Everything starts with us, not so much the things on the outside. So if you are trying to stay focused, because my time is just about up, you're trying to stay focused, you have to detox. Detox those things. Detox those places that are causing you to stay in the same conundrum, the same pattern, the same cycle. You got to break it. Break it. So that you can create something new. Detox from television. Detox from social media. Detox from everything that's unproductive in your life. That's unproductive in your life. If it's not part of who you're trying to be, the new person or part of your, your purpose, your future, or things you're trying to create, you don't need that stuff, those people, those places, those things to be a part of your life because they're distractions. Distractions destroy your destiny. Stay focused, people. Stay focused. This is your girl, Tara. It's midday with Tara. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. It's Masters Week here where I am. I'm in Georgia, so we have the Masters. Um, I might go live a little bit. I, it just depends. But I tell you what, catch me next week. Every Wednesday, midday with Tara. And hey, you guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Let's Talk Tara because I got a talk show that's coming up and I'm trying to get my uh, subscribers up. So guess what? Like and share this page. Like and share this page because this is going to help you and it's going to help somebody else. See you guys next week. Thanks.